Here we're doing 2.1, graphing a line given its equation in standard form. So really there's nothing different here. Um, you could solve it to put it into the other form as it was before, but it's not necessary. Um, when it's written in standard form though, this is important. When it's written in standard form, I still pick zero for x. But because it's in standard form, it's hard to decide whether or not I have a fraction. And if I don't know if I'm going to have a fraction, then it's hard to tell um, what that denominator would be. So instead of trying to guess on what that denominator would be, I like to just use zero for y as well. Okay. So when I plug in zero for x, it becomes y plus two times zero equals six which becomes y plus 0 equals 6, or just y equals 6. When I plug in 0 for x, or I'm sorry, 0 for y, the problem becomes 0 plus 2x um, equal to 6. Be careful not to try to plug in 0 for x and y at the same time. You need to do one, find the other, then do the other, and find this one. So that's the same as saying positive 2x equal to 6. And if I divide by 2 on both sides, we find that x equals 3. And so then in order for you to graph it, you would get the click on the line icon, go to 0, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, mark the little point, and then go to 1, 2, 3, 0, and mark that point. And then the... Um, the computer will draw the line for you. For me, I have to draw it. Now here, it's the same thing. So if I have y, x and y, I'm going to plug in 0 for x and then 0 for y. If it helps keep it straight, put a line in between. right? So I'm going to plug 0 for x. That's the same as saying negative y equals 2. So divide by that negative 1 coefficient, we get negative 2. Then when I plug in 0 for y, that's just x equals 2, which means I get positive 2. So when we go to graph, it's 0 and negative 2 here, and then positive 2 and 0, which is there. And then Alex will draw the line for you. Me, I'm doing it on paper, so I've got to draw my own line. Oops, you can't see. So I plotted the point 0 and negative 2, and then I plotted the point positive 2 and 0, and then just connected the dots.